everyone, Raj here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share to you a text about amphibians, Water to Land Animals by Laura Purdy Salas, illustrated by Kristen Kess. A world full of animals. Millions of animals lived on our planet. Scientists classify animals or group them together by looking at how the animals are alike or different. Six of the more familiar main groups of animals living on Earth are mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and insects. Let's take a closer look at amphibians. The study of amphibians and reptiles is called herpetology. There are more than 6,000 species of amphibians on Earth. New ones are being found at all time. How do you know it's an amphibian? All amphibians have certain things in common. First, they are all vertebrates. That means they have a backbone. Amphibians are also cold-blooded. Their body temperature changes with their surroundings. They must lie in the sunlight to warm their bodies. Most amphibians have smooth skin that's a bit wet. Many amphibians spend part of their lives in water and part of their lives on land. They start out in the freshwater pond or stream. As they grow, they move onto land, like tadpoles. Amphibians first lived on Earth about 360 million years ago. They were around long before dinosaurs. Two groups of amphibians. There are three basic groups of amphibians. The largest group is frogs and toads. They have chubby bodies and four legs. Their long back legs help them jump. Frogs live in our near water and have skin that feels somewhat wet. Toads also live near water but have drier skin. Salamanders and newts are another group. They have long bodies, four legs, and tails. They have short, weak legs and move slowly. Salamanders have smooth, wet skin. They look like lizards, but lizards have dry, scaly skin. Newts have rough, drier skin. Green frogs. Northern red salamander. The third group of amphibians. The last group of amphibians is called Caecilians. Lots of people have never heard of them. They look like giant earthworms, but they have sharp teeth. They live in very warm areas, often deep underground or in the water. They come above ground when conditions are wet. Caecilians. Caecilians have very small eyes and no ears. They have tiny tentacles between their nose and eyes. The tentacles help them find their way underground. The big change. Most amphibians hatch from eggs in a pond. They do not look like their mother or father. They have completely different shapes. Frogs and toads, for instance, hatch from eggs as tadpoles. Young amphibians swim in the water. For a few days, they breathe through gills. They grow legs and lungs. When the young amphibians finish changing, they look like their parents. Tadpoles. Juvenile frog, adult frog. Lungs are not the only organ adult amphibians use to breathe. They also take oxygen through their skin. Where do amphibians live? Amphibians live all around the world. The only place they aren't found is Antarctica. But all amphibians must have moisture. Many of them live in tropical rainforests. They often live in marshes near lakes or rivers. Giant toad, central newt, Sicilian, spatted salamander, tree frog. Some amphibians such as the water-holding frog can survive in areas that have dry periods. This frog must dig itself underground. It keeps itself wet by producing a slimy layer on its skin. What's for dinner? As adults amphibians are carnivores or meat eaters, they eat bugs, snails, worms, and spiders. 
large amphibians such as giant toads even eat small mammals, birds, and frogs. Frogs and toads have sticky tongues to help them catch food. Salamanders and Sicilians catch very slow-moving animals such as worms and slugs. Giant marine toad. Leopard frog. As amphibians grow, their skin gets too tight. Several times a year, they form a new skin, and the old skin peels off. When amphibians shed their skin, they often eat it. Unusual amphibians. Some amphibians do amazing things. The eggs of the Suriname female toad stick to its back. Then the eggs sink into the mother's skin and the skin grows around them. When the young toads hatch from their eggs, they pop right out of their mother's back. Arboreal salamanders and frogs climb trees. Their large toe pads help them grip branches. The Wallace's frog even flies kind of. Using giant stretches of skin between its fingers and toes, the frog glides from one tree to another. Suriname toad, arboreal salamander. Amphibians in our world. Amphibians have lived on Earth for around 360 million years. But many amphibians species such as the Goliath frog and the Chinese giant salamander are in danger of dying out. Scientists think whether changes and pollution are two reasons. Also, many amphibians have no place to live. That happens when people cut down forests and drain wetlands to put up more buildings. Healthy amphibians show us we have a healthy planet. We find better ways to live with these wonderful animals. Chinese giant salamander, Goliath frog. There you have it, boys and girls. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something today. Till next time, but please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, and share this video to your friends. Bye!